hello hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel routine the kitchen thank you so much for being here today i'm recording the voiceover later on after baking and i was making a banana cake i wanted to show you a hack in case your banana cakes do not come out as you expect now here is a hack that you can use and tell me the results you get for me, I had frozen some ripe bananas, but it's good if yours are at room temperature. For me, I forgot to remove them as I was sleeping so that in the morning they could have been at room temperature. So I just had to use them as they were. But luckily, some of them had already defrosted, so it was easier to mash them so the ones that were still frozen i decided to use them later on and use the ones that had defrosted at least for easier mashing i hope you will enjoy this video and let me know if you have if you get to learn something i, I found out that i could not mash with a fork so i had to use this masher to mash I mashed them to get good banana paste like to avoid having the large particles I know you get what I'm trying to say you need to mash your bananas luckily if yours are at room temperature you can easily use a fork like last day mine were at room temperature and I had just used a fork I just used a fork and got the right results so unless you are so frozen that's when you get used the masher because as you know for banana cake you should use bananas that are overripe or almost overripe so it's get it gets easier to mash them my bananas were ready for me to add the next ingredient for my banana cake stick around to know the hack that will make your banana cake be as you have always wanted it to be not mushy not like ugali if you get what i'm trying if you get what i'm trying to say it will be good fluffy cake so for banana cake you need to use melted butter or melted margarine i know for most cakes it's good to use the margarine as it is especially if you're using the rubbing in method but for this one you need to melt the butter or the margarine you are using and it needs to be unsalted butter for better results if you're using butter remember unsalted butter for better results yes but for me i used margarine prestige margarine i didn't use butter and this right here was a very good paste don't know whether you can see i loved it how the banana mixed with margarine i just loved it the next thing i needed to add was sugar i used about six to eight teaspoons of sugar add sugar to taste but for people who don't love sugar banana cake is usually a very good option because the banana has some sugar already so you don't need to add more sugar if you don't love sugar but for people like me who love that sweet taste you can add some sugar and beat the mixture i hope so far you are following we have added mashed bananas we have mashed our bananas we have added melted margarine but you can use melted or salted butter and then you have added sugar if you don't love sugar you can skip that step of adding sugar because for banana cake for banana cake you don't have to if you don't want to for this recipe for this banana cake i used two eggs but later on i will add another egg so in total i used three eggs you will see why i added another egg this egg the yolk was not as yellow as i expected i bought the eggs somewhere else not where i usually buy but for me i prefer eggs that have the yellow yolk let me know what you prefer 
so I used two eggs and continued to mix the mixture this banana cake as I've told you the voiceover I'm recording later on so I've already tasted the cake and oh my god it was so sweet so you should this is a recipe that you need to consider trying out especially if you don't love banana cakes or if you have tried other banana cake recipes and they have failed like for me have an experience trying one and it failed i blended my ingredients sorry my baby is making noise and still didn't come out as i wanted so this recipe is a go-to recipe i added vanilla essence after adding the eggs and kept mixing I just have to get away from baby girl she's making so much noise but now at least i'm somewhere where it's quiet i added vanilla essence i don't know i've never taken banana cake without vanilla essence so i can only share my experience using vanilla essence for the banana cake after adding the vanilla essence it was time to add the dry ingredients. I used all-purpose flour, about three cups of them. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Three cups of all-purpose flour. Before adding the, you definitely know if I'm using all-purpose flour, I'm using baking powder. But sometimes I use self freezing flour. I don't need to add any baking powder so but for this one since i was using all purpose flour needed to add i added a, about two tablespoons of baking powder and my packet of baking powder finished up so i added all of it it was about i had remained with about two tablespoons of it so i'll have to remember to buy baking powder next time and as you can see our label rotis in rotis kitchen i love it after adding the all purpose flour and baking powder it was definitely time to continue mixing i don't know if you have noted something let me know we are at seven minutes let me know if you have noted something so far i want to see what you have noted by now you should already know the hack i'm talking about but let's continue then i'll tell you about it in case you have not noted but if you have noted comment down below and i will see whether you are a regular here so i noted i had added too much flour and i needed to do something so that i could get the cake butter consistency that i wanted so i decided to melt more margarine and as i was melting the margarine i decided to prepare my baking tin i just melted the margarine in the microwave as i was preparing the baking tin and by this time you should have already started preheating your oven so that by the time your butter is ready you just take it to the your oven will be warm enough for you to take the butter to the oven and it can start baking so that you, you also don't have to wait okay after the butter is ready for the oven to get ready i hope you get what i'm trying to say i usually grease the baking tin then dust it to avoid the cake sticking but i've noted the two times i've made banana cake correctly they don't stick for some reasons but maybe it's because i dust but for other cakes they do stick even if i dust so it do some of them no, though not all some of them just have to this was my melted margarine this is after some seconds they had already melted to the margarine that's where i added the other egg I added one egg and mixed here I was mixing i didn't show you the egg but here it was a mixture of melted margarine and one egg i hope even you can see that the liquid you can tell the liquid has an egg 
so I melted some margarine and mix the melted margarine with an egg to add to the cake butter that had too much flour so that the the, the consistency would what I wanted to achieve don't tell me that by now you don't know the hack I'm talking about if it was for vanilla cake, I could have added something else. But for this cake, I decided to add melted butter and an egg. Do you know why? Okay. If you know, you have already commented. If you don't, I'll tell you. Keep mixing until you get the consistency you want. You have to beat this mixture until you get the consistency that you wish to have. But then when making cakes, do you love cake butter that is too thick or too thin? For me, it depends on the type of cake I'm making. But for banana cake, I love the consistency to be a bit thick, thicker than for maybe vanilla cake. And how is your month so far? Do you know last year, a time like this, we didn't have this channel. But now it's here with us. Do you, uh, are you grateful this channel exists? Are you good for me? Yeah, it makes me so happy to make such videos because I love cooking. Here the butter was already ready. You can tell the consistency is thick. A bit thick though, not so thick. Because other, I know I've watched videos where people use thicker mixture than this. But for me, I love it this way. Exactly how it is. This just turned out so perfectly. Before you come to me with, oh, you need to use a wooden spoon instead of a metallic fork. For me, I'm comfortable using the metallic fork because it's easier for me to beat with it. I like beating with the wooden. The wooden cooking stick. I don't know why, but usually get so tired when using that wooden thing. So if you come at me, just know I'm comfortable using the fork, please. But I'll start using the wooden cooking stick. I will learn how to use it or just buy a spatula. Not a spatula. Whatever that thing of cooking is called that looks, that has a flat bottom that seems to be plastic i don't know they even it is plastic i'll get that one i can hear bbt crying but i have to finish up doing this video because i know she is just being stubborn yeah the cake butter was ready but you know you should already tell that i've not added water or milk i've made the banana cake exactly how shall you make my carrot cake you should check out my carrot muffins video. I'll link it in the description. This was the results. You see, it turns out so perfectly. This cake is actually so sweet. I've already taken it as I record this voiceover. Make sure you try out. You try it. You try it out. You can see how the cake. And it almost burns. You can see how brown it is. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell, and comment down below. Let me know that you watch my videos. Keep subscribing, guys. Road to 1k. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. to the new subscribers. Welcome. I love you, people. Thank you so much. Make sure you try out this recipe. I definitely want to know how your stance out. This cake will shock you.